All right, guys, what is up? So we're here. We have this big crack right here. Um, they've got some peering that they've done uh, to lift this up a little bit more. But it looks like they've already tried to repair it, but they didn't. They just put mud over the top of it, guys. So we're going to do it the right way. We're going to fill this, and then we're going to put some mesh so we can avoid any further uh, widening of the gap. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so yeah, not gonna be the greatest video. I brought the little camera today, so I, excuse me for the quality. Hopefully it sounds good too. But all, we've, all we're gonna need is, we've got our tray, our spatula, and then we're gonna use five minute mud and some mesh tape. So let's go ahead and get into it, get some of this five minute mixed up and get it in that crack. All right, real quick, before we start, we are going to spray this up. We're gonna scrape here, make sure that we have a smooth surface that we're gonna run our knife across. I don't want any of this stuff, jagged stuff that's sticking out. And we're just gonna apply it inside of that crack first. We mixed it a little bit thick on purpose. All right, and we use the spatula to work it into the crack. Next, we're gonna take a piece of this mesh tape and we're gonna run it along the crack. That's probably too short. All right. All right, and then we'll do our coat on top. All right guys, sorry for the bad angle. Um, I didn't have anywhere to put the camera where you could actually see me, but just use the spatula to spread out your joint compound. I have a few other videos on this if you want to check them out, but just spread it out as smoothly as possible. Um, and we're doing about eight inches wide. We left it way wider than it was. The crack was about two inches and we did about six to eight inches and the reason is we feather it out so that we can come back sand all this stuff here and then kind of level it out so you, it's not very noticeable if you try to do a thick coat on top of that repair and only make it two inches you're going to see it so we feather it out we're going to let that dry then we'll come back and sand it and then texture it and then paint it and hopefully we're good to go next we're back this is almost dry it's starting to dry um, it's dry to the touch because we use that five minute so it is dry to the touch but we've got this wallboard sanding sponge wallboard tools and so basically you can sand drywall repairs with this without making a lot of dust um, it's got a softer side and then a harder side more abrasive and we're going to go ahead and get this a little bit wet and sand it down and then texture it. All right, so I usually just get my sponge wet in a little container and keep some water. You start sanding with the abrasive side to get those edges down. And that's really the hardest part is getting the edges to kind of fade. And I kind of go back and forth between the abrasive side and the soft side. And then once the sponge gets full of um, joint compound, then I'll go back and wash it off in the water. All right, there it is. So these are feathered out. 
smooth and we're gonna texture. All right guys, so my camera died. Sorry, I had to switch over to my phone. But we are using on this one, we are using this texture can just because it's such a small little repair shell. We're gonna go ahead and this has been shaken up and we're gonna texture it. All right guys, so my first can unfortunately didn't work and thankfully I had a backup in the van. This is just a texture can from Homax that I picked up at Home Depot. Um, and usually you can match your walls texture with these. These aren't amazing. Um, I don't use them very often. I just use them for small repairs like this um, when I don't want to pull out a whole texture gun. Uh, sometimes that's a little bit of overkill. So these work for small little repairs. They're like 20 bucks at Home Depot. All right guys, we painted, it's drying. But there's the repair. Sorry, my camera died. I didn't bring a charger, so. But there it is, you can't see it. It's that little color difference that you see is because the paint's still wet. It's drying, but. There it is. The texture probably could have done a little bit heavier, um, but I just use a can. Those usually don't come out too heavy. So that's the only thing that I could probably add a little bit. But that's it guys. If you like, please hit that like, that subscribe down below.